Let's have a look at how easy it is to install and update a plugin with WP Pusher. I have this plugin called Cool Plugin, and it is really cool, but it does nothing. So let's start by installing WP Pusher. Upload the zip file and activate it. So now WP Pusher is installed. And because we're using a public repository, there's no configuration that we need to do. So we can just go ahead and install the plugin. We need the repository handle, and we get this by copying the username and the repository name from GitHub, and then paste it. And I'm gonna enable push to deploy so I can show you how that works later on. Install the plugin, and let's just activate it. And now you can see the plugin is installed, version 1.0. Oh my god, this plugin is so cool. So let's try to make a change to the plugin. Just gonna bump the version just to show you the change. And commit it and push it to GitHub. So now, if we update the plugin, you can see that it's now in version 2.0. So now let's set up automatic updates. So the plugin will get in updated every time we push to GitHub. So for this, we need to push to deploy URL and we need to create a new webhook on GitHub. So let's add a webhook, payload URL, and there's no secret, add the webhook. And now that this is set up, every time we make a change, the plugin will be updated. So let's go ahead and bump the version one more time and commit it and push it. So if we go to the plugins overview, you can see that the plugin is now in version 3.0. So as you can probably tell, it's really easy to get started with WP Pusher and it's a really big improvement to your workflow if you are using Git to develop. And I encourage you to try it out for yourself. So try out WP Pusher for your next plugin or theme project. If you are using a private repository, it requires a license, but if it's in a public repository, it's completely free. So, thanks for watching.